get started, everybody. Um, if you have not already, go ahead, turn your camera off and mute your microphone so that you can only hear me and so that we don't get any background noise while we are stretching and restoring. If someone has not already, if you could hit the three dots next to my name on your screen and spotlight me. Or not. Um, and make sure that you have something to stay hydrated with. No matter what we're doing, it's important that we are continuing to drink water and fluids throughout our day. So, Go ahead, find a comfortable position for you. We're gonna get started. We're gonna start with some deep breathing to stretch and restore this evening. So go ahead, start with a deep breath in and out. One more time, in and out. This time as we breathe in, our shoulders are gonna come up to our ears. And as we exhale, we're gonna release all that tension out of our shoulders. And we inhale, shoulders come up. And we exhale, release all that tension out of our shoulders. We should feel them dropping a little bit lower each time. Breathe in. And out. And in, and out. One more time, biggest one. Good, I'm gonna turn so that you can see me. Go ahead, join me in quadruped position. So wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Knees should be about shoulder width or hip width apart. As we breathe out, we arch our back down to the floor, belly button to the floor. As we breathe in, we arch up to the ceiling, tuck our heads under and out. Remember your breathing pace may not be the same as mine and that's okay. Move at your speed and your comfort. Good, deep breath in, push all the way up to the ceiling. And exhale, belly button to the floor one more time. Deep breath in, push up. And out, relax down. Good, we're gonna start stretching our hips and our back and our shoulders. So go ahead, kick back into top plank position without moving our hands or our feet. Push those hips up to the sky, heels down. Feel that stretch all the way down the back of our calves and our hamstrings through our glutes. We're not just pushing through the palm of our hand, we're pushing equally through our whole hand. Make sure our head's between our shoulders. Give a little more on the left. Give a little more on the right. Good, come through top plank position. Drop those hips into the floor. Untuck those toes. Deep breath. Make sure our head is not stuck in our shoulders. We're pushing up. Our wrists are still under our shoulders. Go ahead and look over that right shoulder for me. Stretch out that neck a little bit. Good, and stretch over that left side. Good. 
bring that head and neck back to the center. And this time on our knees, push back. Push our glutes into our heels, our rib cage into our quads. Head to the floor and reach through those shoulders. Relax your head and neck. Try and walk those fingers out. Feel a pull in your shoulder. Good, deep breath in and out. And as we exhale, come back up to quadruped position. We're gonna do it one more time. If you struggle with carpal tunnel or some wrist issues, make a little fist with your hand and use that as your base instead of putting your palm flat on the floor. We're gonna do three big deep breaths in cat-cow. Remember we exhale down and we inhale up. And One more. We should feel a little bit looser this time. As we're doing these, our back should feel a little bit warmer. And we're gonna come into our top plank and push back into that downward dog position. Push those heels into the floor as you can. If you're here, that's okay. If you're still getting a stretch down those hamstrings, that's all we're looking for. Give me a little more on the left side. Give me a little more on the right. Drive that heel. Good. Come back through top plank. Push those hips into the floor this time. Remember, bring your head up out of your turtle shell. Look over that right shoulder for me. Stretch out that neck again. And to the left. Try and look back over like you're looking at your feet. Good, exhale, push those glutes back to your heels. Relax your head and neck. And reach with those fingers all the way out. Good, nice deep breath. Good, as we exhale, come up to our quadruped position one more time. And go ahead, sit up on your knees. Slowly we progress to a taller position so we don't get lightheaded or dizzy. With your left foot, go ahead, bring it forward. So our right knee is on the ground, our left foot is wider than a 90 degree angle at our knee. We're gonna push forward into that left side, staying nice and tall with our torso, pointed forward hips are straight, sinking into the ground, feeling that stretch in our hip flexor right here. Maybe we're feeling it all the way down the quad, that's great too. If you need to use your 
up leg to balance, go ahead, but try and hold yourself upright, use your core. And drop those hands inside your foot. Deepen that stretch, see if you can push down a little bit further. Good. You should feel a little bit of discomfort, but no pain. Remember that while we're stretching, if we ever feel pain, we want to back out. Good. Go ahead and push back onto that right knee and sit back. So our left foot is still outstretched and we're going to bend forward. Feeling that stretch all the way down the back of our outstretched leg. Good. Each time you exhale, try and bend over just a little bit further. And five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead, switch those legs. So we're on our left knee as our base of support, bringing our right foot up and out. Give you a second to get here. And go ahead and sink into that nice deep lunge. Our front knee should not come past our toes. We should feel a nice big stretch in our hip flexor of our back leg. We're going to try and stay nice and tall, engaging our core. If we need to use our leg, a wall, a chair, a desk, something close to us to hold our balance, that's okay. Good. Deep breath. And drop those hands inside our, inside our foot, both hands, so our knee should be at our shoulder. See if you can deepen the stretch while you're here. Make sure we're continuing to breathe, that you're not holding your breath. Good, three, two, one, push back. Sit that glute on your heel and stretch out in front of you on that outstretched leg. See if you can get your toes. If not, grab your calf, pull yourself a little bit deeper. Remember, we should be feeling it all the way up the back of our leg. And hold for three, two, and one. Gently release yourself. Come up onto both knees. I'm turning to face you but you can stay as long as you have enough space where you're at. Good. We are gonna go ahead and sit back onto our heels. As we breathe in, our hands are gonna come up over our body and breathe in. And breathe out, release those hands. Feel those shoulders move one more time and breathe in and out. This time as we breathe in, we're going to hold our hands at the top and in. 
nice and tall, seated tall with our core. We bend off to the right side. We're bending from our belly button. We're not going forward, we're not going back. We're just coming off to the side. If you need a little support, put your hand on the ground. Good, five, four, three, two, and one. Back up to the center. Breathe out, release those hands to the floor. And breathe in. Hands come up. And this time off to our left. Continuing to breathe. Good, use those big strong core muscles to keep yourself upright. Good, three, two, one, come back up. Release those hands down. Good job, go ahead, come up onto your knees. Seated nice and tall stretching from our knees all the way up to our shoulders. We're gonna extend our right leg out to our right side. We're gonna breathe in, reaching overhead. And exhale. Take that right hand, reach over to that left side. Become a nice straight line all the way from the tips of our fingers down to the tips of our toes. Reach, feel the stretch all the way across the top of your body from that shoulder down to the tops of your hip. Breathe, good, five, four, three, two, one, come back up. Bring that right foot down and extend out our left. Again, deep breath in, arms come up. And reach over to that right side with our left hand. Use your bottom hand as a base of support. Feel the stretch all the way across the top. Use your core to keep yourself from wavering. four, three, two, one, come back up. This time we're gonna leave that left foot out. We're going to bring that right foot out to join us in a nice wide stance, as wide as you're comfortable with. Start with our hands on the floor. Start with our hands on the floor. Good. Let your head dangle. Feel the release in your upper back, in your neck, in your shoulders. Relax those elbows. Come a little bit closer to the floor maybe. The crown of your head should be facing the floor. You might feel a little bit of pressure in your neck or your upper shoulders, that's okay. We're just decompressing, we're just releasing. Good. 
yourself up to a standing position. We're going to reconnect our team's meeting. We're going to reconnect that Teams meeting. Sorry about that, everybody. Reconnect that Teams meeting. Make sure I'm not muted. There we go. Now I'm not muted. Sorry about that. Go ahead. Come up to a standing position if you have not. Good. We're going to take a nice deep breath in. Recenter ourselves and out. So we've got about 10 minutes left. One more deep breath in. Arms come up overhead. I'm going to turn. And exhale, swan dive to the floor. Hands to heel, hands to feet. Good. Good, as we bring our hands down to our feet, relax, let your head dangle again. Release that pressure from your neck and shoulders so you can fully feel that stretch up the backs of our legs. Go ahead and start walking those hands out nice and slowly. Try to keep those knees straight. It's okay if we bend a little. Coming down into that downward dog position. Again, we should feel looser than before. We should be able to stretch deeper. Good. Go ahead, release to top plank and drop those hips all the way through to the floor. We should feel a little stretchier through our core. Should feel a little bit looser, a little bit warmer. Good. Deep breath out. And pull yourself up, hips up into quadruped position. Adjust our hands and knees as needed. One more time, we're going to take three deep breaths. Cat cow for anyone who had just joined. As we exhale, we drop our belly button to the floor. As we inhale, we bring ourselves up, rounded backs to the ceiling. Good, two more. And in, one more, good, and sit back, heels to glutes, reach those hands out as far in front of us as we can. Good, reach, 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 reach. Relax. 
relax your head and shoulders. Good. Three, two, one. We're gonna go ahead and roll onto our backs. We're gonna decompress for our last five minutes before we part ways for the evening. Go ahead, join me on your back. I'll give you a second to get here. Get comfortable. Feet on the floor, knees up. Relaxed head, neck, and shoulders. Good. I want you to go ahead, bring that left knee into your chest, grabbing on our hamstring behind our knee. Toes pointed up to the ceiling. Good. Three, two, one. And that right side. Bring that knee into your chest. Toes pointed up to the ceiling. And release. This time both, bring both those knees in. Try and keep those hips on the ground. Shoulders relaxed, head relaxed. Bring those knees into our shoulders. Knees into our chest, I'm sorry. Toes pointed up. Three, two, one, release. Good, we're gonna do it again this time, left foot. Grab behind that knee, squeeze into our chest. And extend up. Nice straight leg, as straight as we can. A little bit of a bend is okay. Try and get that bottom of the foot flat to the ceiling. Good, three, two, one, release knee to chest, foot to floor. Onto our right knee to chest, grab behind that knee. And extend up that leg, nice and straight, bottom of our foot to the ceiling. Three, two, one. Release your knee into your chest, bending that leg. And foot to floor. This time, both feet. Bring those knees into our chest. Use that core to squeeze in. And extend both legs up. Feet nice and straight to the ceiling. Good. Point those toes up and flex and point and flex. One more time. Point and flex. Good. Release. Knees to chest, feet to floor. Last one to stretch out our backs before we go for the evening. Go ahead, bring those knees into our chest. Arms wherever they're comfortable, if that's out in a big T, if that's up above your head. And drop those knees off to the left side, keeping our shoulders on the floor. We get a big twist. Good, try and keep those knees together. Good. 
deep breath. Close your eyes while you're here. Let everything wash away. Good. Three, two, one. Use that core. Knees up. Reset. And drop those knees off to the right side. Good. Shoulders stay on the floor. We get a nice big twist in our back. Good. Hold it. Keep that head and shoulders relaxed. Good. Three, two, and one. Bring those feet back up. And drop those feet to the floor. Good. While we're here, I want you to place your hands on your diaphragm, the bottom of your rib cage, right, right about where your belly button is. As you breathe in, I want you to feel your belly rise. And as you exhale, feel it sink. And inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale, exhale. Good. I want you to slowly open your eyes if you had them closed. Go ahead and sit up nice and slowly. One more deep breath before we leave. Good. Thank you all for joining me for Restore and Stretch this evening. I hope that you do feel restored and stretched. If you have any questions, if you need any help with anything, please do not hesitate to reach out to the Fitness Center inbox, fitness underscore center at freddymac.com. We're always here to help you. I hope you have a great rest of your evening and a fantastic week ahead. Bye all.